Welcome sa sip9.com. Uh, in this video ay mag-aaral tayo kung paano ba mag-add ng dissimilar fractions, no? So, ang dissimilar fractions, sila yung mga fractions na uh, kung saan uh, yung kanilang denominator ay magkaiba. So, napag-aralan na natin yung addition of similar fractions and dito naman ay dissimilar fractions. So, for example, uh, example 1, we have 1 half plus one-third, no? So, ang one-half tsaka one-third ay dissimilar fractions kasi magkaiba sila ng denominator. So, pag ganito, hindi tayo pwedeng diretsong mag-add. So, ang una natin gagawin is to get the least common multiple of uh, one-half and one-third, no? Or of two and three, no? Least common multiple of two and three or the least common denominator of one-half and one-third. Yung LCM yung hahanapin natin. LCM of 2 and 3. So, so, ang common multiples or ang multiples of 2, no? Pag minultiply natin yung 2 ng whole numbers, no? So, 2 times 1 is 2. This multiples of 2. Multiples of 2. We have 2 times 1 is 2. We have 4, we have 6, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8, and then 10, 12, 14, 16, and so on. No? And then multiples of 3, we have, we have uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, um, 15, and 18. No? So, yung mga common sa dalawa, no? Anong common? Anong pareho? We have 6. We have 12. We have 18. No? And so on, no? 6, 12, 18. Kita nyo yung pattern? Yung susunod is 24, no? Yan yung mga tawag natin na common multiples. These are, these are the common, common multiples, no? common multiples. Yung pinakamaliit dyan, ang tawag natin yung least common multiple, no? So, ang least common multiple of 2 and 3 ay equal to 6. Ngayon, pag nakuha na natin, gagawin na natin least, uh, gagawin na natin fraction, yung 1 half tsaka 1 third na ang denominator nila ay 6. So, yung 1 half, paano siya magiging uh, mayroong denominator na 6. We do is, we divide. 6 divided by 2. That's 3. And then times 1. We have 3. And then yung 1 third. We have 6 divided by 3. Times 2. Or sorry, times 1. So 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 1. 2. So pareho na silang 6, no? So ibig sabihin... 1 half plus 1 third equals, yung 1 half natin is 3 sixth plus 2 sixth. No? Ito yung 1 half natin, yung 3 sixth, yung 1 third natin, 2 sixth. So, similar fractions sa sila at napag-aralan natin na uh, pag similar fractions, we just add the numerator and then copy the denominator. So, ang tamang sagot ay 5 sixth. Okay, so, uh, ano pa ginawa natin dyan? Ginawa natin dissimilar, o oh, ginawa natin similar yung dissimilar para natin sila ma-add. Yun ang purpose kung bakit kinukuha natin yung LCM. Merong strategy 2, no? May pangalawang strategy dyan. Uh, first, we get the multiples of 1 half. So, we have 1 half, no? Or, we get the equivalent fractions by equivalent fractions. Kanini LCM, ito equivalent fractions. At kung napanood nyo yung video natin ng equivalent fractions, makuha natin equivalent fractions by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So, times 2, ano tayong 2 fourth, times 2 dito, magiging 4, no? times 2 magiging 2, 
And then, paano naman pag multiply natin sa 3? We have 3. 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Pareho ha. Pag multiply mo ng 3, multiply mo na ito ng 3. Pag multiply natin ng 4, dapat yung baba yung multiply din natin ng 4. This is 8. Pag multiply natin ng 5, multiply din natin ng 5 ito. So, maging 10 siya. Okay? So, Next, yung one-third natin, ang multiples niya, or sorry, ang equivalent fractions niya ay times 2, magiging 2 6 what else? 3 ninth, 4 twelfth, 5 15th. So, hahanapin natin yung fractions na may parehong denominator, no? So, dito, ang may parehong denominator ay 3 6 tsaka 2 6. Ibig sabihin, yung equivalent fractions ng one-half, Ang equivalent fractions niya ay 3 6, no? Ang equivalent fraction nito ay 3 6. At ang equivalent fractions nito ay 2 6. Kaya pwede na natin silang i-add katulad dito, no? Yan yung pangalawang strategy. So, mamili na lang kayo sa dalawang strategies na yan kung ano yung gusto nyo. Okay? So, number 2, we have... Uh, 1 fourth plus two-third plus one-half. No? Oh, okay lang muna yan. One-fourth one plus two-third. So, ano ang ano ang ano nyan? Equip, ano ang ano nyan? Ano ang LCM nya? So, four. We have eight. We have twelve. We have, uh, it's multiples of four though. Multiples of 4. Umaga na, no? Tila up na yung mga manok. 16 and 20. And then multiples of 3. And then multiples of 3. We have 3, 6, 9, 12. So, ang least common multiple natin ay 12, no? So, LCM na strategy ito, no? So, we have 1 fourth. Ang 1 fourth natin ay lagyan natin konti dito. Gagawin natin 12, no? Yung kanyang denominator. So, 1 fourth Kagawin natin siyang 12. And yung kanyang denominator. So, 12 divided by 4 is uh, 3 times 1 is 3. And then yung 2 third, we have uh, 12 divided by 3. 4 times 2 is 8. So, we have 3 12 plus 8. 12. Okay, so, kung napapansin nyo, dinidivide natin dito, tapos minimultiply natin. Dinidivide sa, sa denominator and then minimultiply natin sa numerator. So, ang tabang sagot ay 11 over 12. So, pwede nyo rin gamitin yung pangalawang strategy, which is equivalent fractions, no? So, yung pangalawang strategy, pwede nating uh, gamitin dito. We have uh, one fourth equivalent fractions, uh, two eighths, no times two over two, and then times three, three twelve, four over sixteenth, and five twentieth, no. Also, yung yung two third, ang multiples niya ay. Uh, 4, 6, we have uh, 6, 9th, no? and times 4 is 8, 12. No? So, kung mapapansin ninyo, ang common, ang par may parehong denominator ay yung 3, 12. Oh, sorry. Yung 3, 12, at saka yung 8, 12.
Okay, so kaya naging 312 saka 12 tayo dito. Okay, so yan yung mga strategies, dalawang strategies sa pag-add ng fractions. I hope ay uh, mayroon kayo natutunan dito and siguro magkakaroon pa tayo ng uh, isa pang uh, or more examples later dito sa addition of the similar fractions. So kayo yung invite sa zipline.com no? and um, pwede kayong pumunta dito para makita yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng ating videos. No? Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.